All right, guys, I got a, another video here for you. I appreciate you tuning in and watching this. Uh, this one right here is, I'm not really sure how this is going to end. The motor on this thing, when you hit the key, it just clunks. And you can see the flywheel, the engine will just barely turn. So, that could be a number of things. So, we're going to walk down the diagnostic chain. It could actually be that the motor is blown and it's locked down. Um, it could be something else that's not the motor. So, we're going to walk down through that. Um, one of the reasons that you can have your motor not want to turn over, it could be hydro locked. And what that is, is either water got through the air filter or housing or whatever, it got into the cylinders or gas or a combination of all of it, got into the cylinders and it won't allow the piston to come all the way to the top and it compresses that and gives you a hydro lock. I already pulled the plugs out, that's not it, they're nice and clean. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go up underneath and I've already got the mower jacked up off the ground, jack stands up underneath it. And I'm going to go under here, I'm going to grab my flashlight. And I'm going to take the PTO clutch off. It is a possibility that the clutch is locked up and that's causing the motor not to spin. I went ahead and removed the belt that runs from the PTO clutch all the way up to the front. And I did go ahead and remove this bolt. And I tried to slide this thing off and this thing is on there. It is seized to the shaft. So I'm not saying that's necessarily the problem, but I want to diagnose the problem and not just destroy this clutch trying to get it off when it could still be good just needs the inside of it cleaned up before it goes on the new motor if it needs a new motor so what i'm going to do since i've pulled this bolt down i gave it a pretty good effort of trying to get this clutch to slide off the shaft instead of spending a lot of time on it i'm just wanting to diagnose it um there is on the other side let's see if i can get my camera here Up there, there's a couple bolts that a tab comes down and goes into the clutch, the PTO clutch housing. And what that does is it keeps the clutch from just spinning every time the motor turns, keep it from spinning whichever way it turns. Because you got a couple wires that come in up here and they'll just rip those out. And the clutch would never work. So that's holding the thing stable. Because it has those two bolts in it, I'm going to go take those two bolts out and see if I can spin the motor then because it's basically taking the, if this is, if this clutch is locked down, it's taking that out of the equation. It'll allow this where this is staying stationary, it'll allow it to actually turn, go back and forth. So I'm going to put the camera on pause and take those bolts out and see what happens. Okay, I've got that tab holding the clutch in place. I've got it out. Now I'm gonna give it a try and see if it do anything different. Oh, oh, there it goes. Now, the PTO clutch wire comes up out of here. I didn't wanna spin the engine over with the starter because the PTO clutch is still on there. And I didn't wanna destroy it um i just got the wire unhooked the zip ties unclipped i just want to see if the motor was still stuck and it is not that's awesome so basically where i'm getting at with this is i didn't want to spend however much time it takes to get the pto clutch off when there's really nothing wrong with the pto clutch i could have tied up a lot of time into this thing trying to get the clutch off and let's say it did have a blown engine the customer may not want to spend any money on it and there i am with all this time tied up into it and i can't get the, that time back or i can't really charge them for all that if they don't want to spend any money so the next step if the pto clutch if that didn't solve my problem if the engine was still stuck i would have disengaged 
the dry belt, the hydro dry belt, just in case something's locked up there. It would probably just spin the belt and burn the belt if something here was locked up. But I would go ahead and do that anyway. That way I'm completely isolated to down just the engine. Next step, if I'm trying to chase exactly where it's locked down, take the screen off, the fan housing, and then look and see if there's anything stuck between the flywheel and the, the ignition coils or the block or anything of that nature. Um, make sure the starter wasn't stuck in it. Um, then if I didn't see anything there, take the flywheel off because there's some magnets under the flywheel that run the stator that's up on the flywheel and generates the power to charge a battery back up from running the PTO clutch and all that kind of stuff. After I'd removed the flywheel, I have nothing on the PTO shaft on the bottom, but the thing still wouldn't spin. Chances are she's locked up and you're gonna need a motor. But this one right here, I'm just gonna cut that PTO clutch off probably because I'm not gonna spend a whole bunch of time trying to fight to get that thing off. Um, it's just not really worth it. But anyway, I appreciate you guys watching this video. Hopefully maybe somebody picked something up off of it. Um, if you could please give me a subscribe, give me a thumbs up. I would definitely appreciate it. Share it with your friends and check out some of my other videos. I try to go through everything and fix it as efficiently or diagnose it as efficiently as possible. Um, this one right here kind of got lucky, I think. Anyway, well, I appreciate you guys watching and hopefully see you on the next one.